All right, look at this live picture from Kansas City. This is one of the most recognizable buildings in the metro. But soon, the Kansas City Board of Trade will only be a name etched into the building. The Chicago Mercantile Exchange announced it will shut down trading here before the end of the year. New at 10, Amy Holly looks at why this is an, an, more than an economic loss. Up until a few years ago, the trading floor of the Kansas City Board of Trade looked a lot like the floors of Wall Street. A vibrant yet physical, sometimes even bruising place of frenetic traders who packed into a circular pit where fear motivated and millions could be made and lost. But in recent years, the trading pit gave way to electronic traders who opted to trade hard red winter wheat futures online. So the last day of open outcry trading on Kansas City's only trading floor will be June 28th. Nostalgic traders say it's an end of an era. There just wasn't as much a need for, obviously, uh, people on the floor. I think it's hugely sad. A group of merchants who met on the banks of the Missouri River in 1856 organized the exchange. The town should be proud that we were able to make a have a place where everybody in the world came to figure out what their wheat was worth. Despite the exchange doing very well financially last year, the Chicago Mercantile made an irresistible offer in December, $126 million in cash to be able to take Kansas City's exchange to the Windy City, a move that made each shareholder money they wouldn't trade, $750,000 a share. Membership prices had never traded that high, never. Now, if you've lived here for any length of time, you've likely driven by the Board of Trade down here right off the plaza, adorned with its memorable grain art. This move to Chicago means the loss of several jobs here in Kansas City, but electronic trading will remain here until September. And then, like one trader put it, told me today, this afternoon, that this Kansas City institution back behind me then could soon become maybe just another building of new apartments. The Chicago Mercantile declined to officially comment today. In Kansas City, Amy Holly, 41 Action News.